I've been trying to record the next video for this channel for over a month now, and I just haven't been able to do it. Whether I just didn't have the time one day, wasn't in the right mindset one day, or when I sat down to do it, I didn't feel like I had the right words. It, it just hasn't happened. But as I went back and read the comment that had the question I wanted to answer, it also had something maybe more important in the beginning of the comments. And uh, what it says was, I think it's an important thing to realize that as a bigger YouTuber, you are a role model to people. Just you opening up about your struggles helps so many people, it shows that that is an okay thing to do. So I want to open up a little bit and talk about my recent struggles and what I'm doing to work on them. And the entire point of this video is going to be something is better than nothing. What I'm doing right now is actively that. Something is better than nothing. I really want to answer the question that is at the end of that comment. I want to answer other questions. I want to make a lot of videos for this channel, but I haven't been able to do that. So let's just talk about this and have a video on the channel because once again, something is better than nothing. So why am I talking about this? What's been going on? Well, I actually think the best way to talk about this would be to talk about what's been going on the past two years. Uh, roughly two years ago, my fiance uh, graduated from medical school and moved on to a residency program, which is incredible. It is only a good thing. I'm so proud of her, and she has been an incredible doctor so far. The problem is residency is brutal. This week, she has a night rotation, or just, I guess, a night shift for a week. And what that means is she works 12-hour days for seven straight days. She leaves the house at uh, 5.30 at night and then gets home at 7 or 8 in the morning. Then she sleeps all day till, like, 3 or 4, is awake for, like, an hour, and then, then goes back and works some more. It is brutal. But then next week will be a more normal rotation. The hours are usually tough. At best, she has one day off a week. And with that schedule, it's been really hard to work around. It's constantly changing. The hours are crazy. And I don't always know what to expect. Around the same time she started residency, my YouTube channel was really taking off. Another wonderful, positive thing. Uh, one thing that happens when a YouTube channel takes off, at least sometimes, is that it becomes a business. It's still fun, it's still creative, and I still love it personally, but I'm taking a lot more meetings, I've hired employees, and now I'm fully in charge of my own schedule. I'm a boss, and I'm in charge of other people's schedules, other people's jobs, and there's a lot of stress and pressure, sure, but also there's just a huge time commitment and a, a lot to work around. People that spend all of their time online usually don't have the best schedule. So while I've always had more of a normal schedule, I'd like to say, you know, you work with different creators and their schedule might be completely, you know, upside down. You know, some of the people I may work with for like, you know, editing videos or art or this, that and the other, you know, their schedules could be different. There could be different time zones. There's a lot of things to work around. So when you bring this blossoming YouTube channel and everything going on there, uh, and bring that together with the residency schedule, it has been chaos for two years. So why am I saying all of this? Well, something is better than nothing is something I wish someone had beaten into me two years ago as I tried to do everything I could. How do I do the best I can at work, make the best videos, be the best boss, you know, grow the channel the best way I can, I bought a home, uh, how do I, you know, get everything I want within the home, take care of the home, you know, do this, do that, good social life, work on this, work on that, you know, make as much time as I can to spend with my fiance when she's not working, you know, try to help where I can when residency is too much. I just tried to do everything and I couldn't do that. And sometimes when I couldn't do everything, I struggled to do anything or you know, maybe Monday through Friday, I put my all into everything and I got to Saturday, Sunday, and I was just spent. And it didn't really feel like I had a lot more to give. Uh, and, and things like that can really build up. And you can build up, you know, really negative perceptions of yourself or start beating yourself up, you know, like working out. 
there were times where I didn't work out at all. And it's not like I was happy with that decision. I got too busy. There was too much to do. And then I'd just be really mean to myself. Like, you know, like, why can't I look the way I, you know, want to look? Why can't I, you know, do the things I want to do? What, why, 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 why? And uh, a lot more negative things thrown in words where uh, the better thing would be, okay, maybe I can't go and work out three times a week, four or five. Maybe it's difficult to find the time to go to a gym and do what I need to do. Maybe it's, you know, even difficult to get a workout going, you know, at my own home. Can I find 10 minutes to go out on a walk and maybe do that every other day? And then, you know, eventually maybe I'm going for a walk every single day, do longer walks, add in some weights eventually. How can I do something rather than nothing? But how can I do something in a gradual way to lead up to what I want? Because at least for me, when it comes to something is better than nothing, you're doing something to eventually move your way up to what you want to do. It can't be I either have these goals and this new routine I want to build in. And if I can't do that, then I'm just going to go back to my bad habits. I don't need to be at my goal right away, but I can slowly work my way up. And in these past few years, there's been a lot of times where I, I thought I was doing that. And I thought I was trying to build in a new habit. But as soon as that new habit got you know destroyed, maybe I had a good month of working out or eating or doing this, doing that. As soon as that kind of went away because something popped up. I'd get so discouraged and I'd fall back into completely bad habits. Recently, I think I've really turned quite a corner with all of this. And it really started with a conversation with two people, a conversation with my best friend. And then a little bit after a conversation with my dad, uh, me and my best friend were just talking about how great it is to get outside and walk. He works at home now and just, Leaving your home, getting into the fresh air and, you know, being away from work and all of that. It, it just feels so great. And he had talked about how often he'd been going for walks and how much that had been helping him. And, uh, you know, it was such a simple conversation. but it, it really stuck with me. And then I went and my dad was talking about how he'd read an article that people used to have three places. Uh, home, work, and then, you know, out socializing. And especially with the pandemic, a lot of people only had two places. And some people only had one. And I had turned into someone who only really had one place. I work at home. I live at home. And then with how busy I am and how busy my fiance is, sometimes I didn't really go out as much because, you know, there was so much to do at home or, you know, like she was gone. So I was like, ah, maybe I'll I'll, I'll get some extra work done. Yeah, I, I wasn't pushing myself to leave the house. So really thinking on both of those things, I decided I'm going to try to leave my house and go on a walk every single day. It doesn't have to be a long walk. I just need to get out of the house, go on a walk. And if it's raining, if I don't have the time, that's fine. I'll just go the next day. And so began something is better than nothing. Because once that became a routine, it was easier to say, OK, um, you know, whatever little health app I had on my phone, let me bump up how many calories I want to burn in a day. And I'm going to try to go on longer walks or go on a run, you know, uh, go on a bike ride, whatever it may be. Let me try to get, you know, that many steps in, you know, that many calories burnt. And then I can just feel good knowing that I was out of the house longer. And while I didn't do it every single day, I started doing it more and more often. And it felt great. And with this built into my schedule, I was really able to make a lot more changes when it came to eating. You know, I, I figured out a more consistent breakfast, more consistent lunch, and I've been slowly starting to figure out more things with dinner. Sometimes Nikki's around to make dinner. Sometimes I'm making dinner. Sometimes we make dinner together. Sometimes we don't have time and we just order something. Well, we've been working. Okay, how about we have like a few of these recipes? You know, how how we have like this, you know, break class in case of emergency meal. And then if things get busy, sure, maybe we still go out, maybe we still order something. But how do we slowly build in these steps so something's better than nothing? Maybe we're making two meals a week. And while that's not like, you know, five, six, seven healthy dinners a week, it's something. And as we keep working and building in more time, we, we can do more. Chores around the house kind of went the same way. But the really big thing recently has been, you know what? 
Nikki's schedule is all over the place. My schedule's been all over the place. I'm just going to make it no matter what. I go to bed roughly the same time every night, and I wake up at roughly the same time every morning. And if I can do that for a week, I'm going to try to change this crazy schedule of content creation that's not very normal and try to build in a nine to five work schedule. Yeah, maybe some days or some weeks, uh, Nikki is going to be working <laughs> a night shift. And once I'm done with work, she's leaving for work. That sucks. It's lonely. It makes me sad. I don't love it. But instead of having those weeks and saying, ah, eh, I'm already lonely and sad. Let me just work till 10 at night or let me get chores done. I'm going to turn off the computer. I'm going to stop working and I'm going to, you know, do something productive. Go on a walk, get outside, try to make plans, hang out with the dog, whatever it may be. So that when she's on a regular rotation, all of a sudden my schedule is set and I'm good to go. That's been wonderful for me. And I have so many things where I want to keep working on controlling what I can control and hopefully having a healthier routine. But more than that, just being really a lot happier and kinder to myself. What I've really learned in this past bit is the beauty of something is better than nothing. And what that really means, you don't have to do everything perfectly. You don't have to make those big changes right away. You just don't. It's not realistic and you're not going to be able to do it. You have to be kind to yourself. Because something could come up. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow. Tomorrow could be the best day. It could be the worst day. And if you plan to do all of these things tomorrow and something prevents it, you can't beat yourself up and move on to the, the day after that and not just get back to what you need to do. You could have a horrible week, a horrible month. But something within that is still going to be better than nothing because, hey, there's always going to be a tough time and always going to be a good time. And you want to make sure that in those tough times, you take care of yourself. You do what you can do. So when you get to that good time, hopefully you can do even more and everything will be a little bit better. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to make a video that was more off the top of my head. Might have been a little bit more rambly. Maybe my thoughts all, all weren't together, but I've had a tough few months, honestly, and I feel like I'm coming out of that stretch much stronger person, a much healthier person physically and mentally. And I, I really know what I want. And I, I think I know how to have a really wonderful summer. And I hope you guys are having a good time. I hope you guys know what you want. And if, if nothing else, I hope this video helped in any way. Whatever you want to do, just remember, doing something will be better than nothing. Don't beat yourself up. Be kind to yourself. You are your best thing. And I'll see you in the next video whenever I make the next video.